And we're back live here in St. Louis, Missouri at the America's Center for the 135th Knights of Columbus Supreme Convention. And joining me at the table is Cardinal Daniel DiNardo, who is the Archbishop of Galveston, Houston, also the President of the USCCB. And thank you so much for being with us, Cardinal. Well, it's a, it's a pleasure to be here. We've had a good long afternoon, but <laughs> with a chock full of information <laughs> uh, from the Supreme Grand Knight on what the activities of the Knights are. And, and just talking about that in general too, uh, picking out certain things, but the importance of prayer. Um, the, the, he had talked about the Pope's World uh, Day of Peace, uh, um, World Day of Prayer uh, initiative and uh, how important that is and significantly themed it throughout this uh, convention. Right, right. Uh, yes, he, he he decided that we are indeed um, empowered uh, by God's love, uh, called, and that the knights have to be a living witness to that. So he, he used that theme to go through the multiple activities uh, that we've done in charity, just remarkable. But also there's, a, uh, there's an implicit challenge in all of them, not only to keep on moving, but as he went to the uh, Christians in the Middle East, yes. He became, uh, you know, very impassioned about uh, where they are. That we have a responsibility that the Christian presence stays in the Middle East. Yeah, made it very uh, uh, challenging. Uh, it, it, I thought it was true also on his comments on pro-life. So, um, lots of cele celebration, but also lots of challenge. Yeah, and talking about that uh, passage of the House bill there to. Uh, help support uh, the Christians and, and the religious minorities and how important that is that the Senate pass it too, but our support as well for, for that. Right, I think he was trying to bring out in faithful citizenship yeah. that, uh, that, that a knight is a, f a faithful citizen. Mm -hmm. Therefore, you have to take part in the, in the public square. Mm -hmm. and do it well, do it wisely, uh, but be there. Yeah. And we talked about this uh, too, the, the life message, uh, very strong. Uh, Knights have always been strong with ultrasound machines and with, with March for Life. And uh, we just saw the piece leading into this uh, with the um, conference uh, set up under, under Colonel O'Connor's name too. But the importance of that in, in this day and the, the seems like a little turning towards a, a pro-life uh, atmosphere yes, in the from country. Yes, uh, from what Carl mentioned, Certainly what I sense in some of our younger people, at the same time, uh, we have to keep our emphasis on it. And in some of the politics at large and the uh, principles at large, there are some who would like to downplay the, the intensity of the pro-life message, which we've always shown in yeah. our church and which the, uh, we the Knights have always shown. I was pleased that he made clear that we are, uh, we're right up there in the front as we have always been yeah. on the pro-life message. And of course, the USCCB is is behind uh, getting uh, help for immigration, the Christian Refugee Funds, the Knights involved in as well. But maybe it's, talk about that briefly, just about how important that is and reaching out, being open to uh, our neighbors, our refugees. Yeah. Well, being uh, close to our neighbors uh, in a wide variety of pro-life activities. In some cases, it's the refugee, it's the immigrant. Uh, in other cases, it may be showing the life uh, of the unborn. The, the bishops of the United States have a, uh, a strategic plan which tries to hold all of those realities up in the air at the same time. May be criticized, do we do it all? Yeah. But I say we're trying very hard to keep them all and not to lose uh, the emphasis on any one of them uh, in, our, um, in our work in the church, leading, shepherding the church, and certainly when it comes to things of pro-life and uh, Christian refugees and Knights of Columbus are right there. Yeah, well thank you so much, you're Cardinal, for dropping welcome. by. I appreciate yes. it. I know you're very busy. but so it should be a good <laughs> evening tonight <laughs> at the dinner. All right, God gonna, bless. Thank you, Cardinal. We're going to take a quick uh, break. We're going to come back with more of our live coverage of the 135th Knights of Columbus Supreme Convention right here in St. Louis, live at the Americas Center. Thank you so much. I appreciate it.